Matt, I'm Miss Ray. I'm Mr. S. It's Learning Lockdown. Now, Mr. S, we've had a problem. Oh, no. Some people have been writing in saying, it's great that you're teaching us how to tell the time, but when I asked my mum and dad for the time the other day, they looked at their phone, or they looked at their watch, mm. and they said, well, the time is this, and I looked at their phone and watch later, and it didn't have one of your funny little circular clocks on it. It had numbers that were like this. You've been teaching us to tell the wrong time. This is how we tell the time in the 21st century, Mr. A and Mr. S. Well... You can actually do both, okay? <sighs> we showed you the best way to start learning to tell a time, which is on an analogue clock, which is the circular one with the hands. But more often nowadays, you'll see these types of clocks, which are called digital. They both tell you the same thing, just in a different way. But today's lesson is all about being able to tell both. Yeah. Now, we're not going to work on something called 24-hour digital time. If you fancy a practice on that, maybe you can go and try and find another video to teach you that. But we're going to look at 12-hour digital time. Now, the important thing when it comes to digital clocks is in one sense they read very differently to how you actually say the time. You see, we've been teaching you to tell the time by saying 10 minutes to 4 or 20 past 5, where you talk about the minutes first and then the hour. But when we're looking at a digital clock, the first thing you need to know about a digital clock is that we don't put the minutes first, they write the hours first. So these double digits here refer to the hours. And these bits are really simple. This is one of the easiest parts of telling the time when it comes to digital clocks, because telling the hour, it's right there. So this is one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and background, one o'clock, you get the idea. Those are our hours. The part when digital time gets a bit tricky, though, is the minutes. Now, when we're going past the hour, it's nice and simple, isn't it, Mr. S? It is very simple. Because we know from zero minutes to 30 minutes, well, those times are all past the hour. And we know in particular that 30 minutes is half past yeah. and 15 minutes is quarter past. If you don't know what we're talking about, go back to Tuesday's lesson. But we can actually have any of these numbers in the minutes part of our digital time here, and we can read the time really accurately. For example, here, we've got 17 minutes. So we could say we are 17 minutes past, let's look at the hour, four. Now let's have a look at this one. We're 23 minutes. Well, we're 23 minutes past seven. And reading times past the hour on a digital clock is really easy. But then we get to two times when we're going to the hour mm. and this is when it can look a little bit tricky Mr. S. Tricky. Yeah so what you'll see here is again on a digital time the hour always comes first and then on a digital time it will always always just tell us how many minutes have gone past that hour so but if you look at this time here on the digital time it says 7.42. You can see there that 42 minutes have passed since the since seven o'clock but we wouldn't say 42 past seven, even though that's what it looks like it says there. In order to say that in the kind of spoken way that we tell a time, we would have to work out, well, how many minutes would it be until it gets to 60? It's on remember, 40. there's 60 minutes in an hour, so when that minute hand gets to 60, we turn over to the next hour. That seven would change to an eight, because so, it's eight o'clock. So that, how would we say this time? Well, how many minutes till 60? Well, 42. I go up by eight to get to 50, and then another 10, so it'd be 18 minutes. So I can say that time as 18 minutes to eight. But and the difficulty there is, you don't have the number 18 or the number eight on your digital time. You've got the number seven and the number 42. You've got to really think carefully when you're looking at a time where the minute hand on the digital clock is past 30. Because the moment it's past 30, that's when your maths has really got to kick in. As Mr. S has shown you, you've got to count on then to 60. And also remember that you're not talking about this hour, you're talking about the next hour. So 80 minutes to 8. Very confusing. And we can show that time on an analogue clock now that we know it's 18 minutes to 8. Here's the clock face. We have the hour hand going to 8. Not on 8, but it's going to 8. And our minute hand that counts 5, 10, 15, 20, oh, 20 too far. Let's go back, Let's go back to 15 and then count it the little dashes, 16, 17, 18, and there you have 18 minutes to eight. Let's have a look at one more two time on the digital clock. So here we've got, we're on the hour two, so we're past two o'clock, but we're 50 minutes past two. Well, we don't say that, we need to see how many minutes it is until we get to 60 minutes. Well, if we're on 50, 
I count on another 10, and I'd be at 60, so I'm 10 minutes until I get to the next hour. So I'm 10 to, well, I'm not on two o'clock, I'm on three o'clock, 10 to three. These are really tricky, and we know we've been through that really quickly, but use the skills that we've been showing you the past week about looking to or past the hour. Just the difficulty with this one is don't just look at the numbers that are presented to you, think about how they would look on an analog clock and that will help you out. Have a look at the digital times below and let us know how you got on.